I don't really have anything to It usually requires a car to operate. Yeah, actually, where's my DM card? Apparently, the only thing inside of my wallet was a bus pass. That's gonna be a problem. I can't. Apparently, it's a great time to get a mortgage. Not right now. He looks like he doesn't want to be disturbed. He looks like he's very intently reading that. Also, he seems to have some, he seems to have an awesome handlebar mustache. I just want to grab onto the handles and yank. Is that weird? That's kind of weird. I better leave him alone. I should probably not just walk straight into the manager's office. Looks very secure. Sign up for a platinum executive credit card and get 50,000 air reward miles. Extensive service charges and fees can and will apply. Uh, of course. That's about the only thing keeping me from reenacting scenes from Reservoir Dogs in here. <laughs> uh, she's pretty cute. How can I help you? I can actually try to get a platinum executive credit card. Hmm. Nah, let's try to withdraw. I would like to make a withdrawal from my bank account. I'm really sorry, but we can't perform any withdrawals at this time. There is a technical issue preventing us from making cash withdrawals. Uh-huh. Really. We sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. <sighs> what about deposits? Can I deposit 50 cents? I don't recall there being any money in that wallet. So I'm not sure exactly what it is I'm supposed to be depositing. Hey, I would like to sign up for a Platinum Executive Credit Card. Absolutely not, sir. What? The Platinum Executive Card is reserved for clients we value. Clients with money. Oh. Okay. Fuck you, then. I want to speak to the manager. I'd like to speak to your manager. He's in his office in the back. What do you want? I want a Platinum Executive Credit Card. Hmm... The one with the 50,000 Air Reward Miles? That's the one. Those are usually only reserved for clients we care about. You know, clients with money. But I might make an exception, if you do something for me first. figures. Okay, what do you need? I have a situation that requires some discretion. I'm not going to bury a hooker for you. <laughs> no, no. Nothing like that. Can you keep a secret? No, I mean, yes. Uh, totally. What can I help you with? Okay, good. Look, I'm kind of in a bind right now. I've lost the keys to the bank vault. That's the technical yeah. issue. How? I definitely locked it last night. They must have fallen out of my pocket since then. We can't do much with the vault still locked. And if the regional office finds out I lost the key, I'll be fired. When was the last time you saw the key? I'm pretty sure it fell out of my pocket when I was at the Mexican restaurant last night. 
Los Perros Locos. If you're so sure, why don't you go there and look for yourself? Ah, uh, well, it's complicated. Would you check for me? Okay, I guess I can run off and do this fetch quest. Excellent. It's a large silver key. I hope you find it. You better give me lots and lots of money if I find it. Because I'm saving your job. I need to change bags. It's locked. A box of paper clips. I'm just gonna steal some paper clips. I hope you don't mind. Cool. He didn't mind. It's too heavy to be carried. Damn. Ugly tie. I'm just gonna steal this ugly tie. I'm gonna need to borrow this tie. I'd rather you didn't. You want my help? This is the cost. That's the cost, you idiot! No, the cost should be like ten thousand dollars, dude. Come on. Sell yourself short here. He runs a bank. He can get you money. What the hell am I gonna do with this tie? An ugly tie. I've always wanted an ugly tie. Oh, hold on, I got a tweet. What the fuck? Juicy error is gonna cost me my entire life. Hashtag what the fuck. Hashtag bure... Bureaucracy fail. Can I just keep tweeting? Okay, it changes. Or it will change when you go do... When new stuff's happening. Okay, do I just go to the restaurant now, or should I go somewhere else? Um... Let's go to the restaurant. Alright, Los Perros Locos, which I'm assuming means the insane parrot. Wow, this place is empty. Hola, welcome. Sit anywhere you like. And by that, I'm assuming you mean at the one table that I can sit at? Okay. No key here. No key here. Alright, so lost the key, so where would he lose it? I'm guessing... Bathroom? Probably. No key here. Postal executive, hmm. No key here. Look under the chips. Look under the wine. Look under his hair. I guess he doubles as both the waiter and the bartender. That must be where they sell tickets to the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Hmm. What? Hey, man. That's for customers. He says, and then lets me walk inside. Okay. This place is kind of nasty looking, actually. It's like... Moss on the tiles. <laughs> what the hell? The garbage can is empty. Looks like they're either out of toilet paper... ...or rationing it carefully. <laughs> It's a gross toilet. These are used to dry your hands. Why, thank you. I didn't know that. No key here. No key here. I can be pretty distracting. Biggie Smalls. Huh? Biggie Smalls. I don't even know what that means. The toilet actually works. Can I dry my hands too? 
They're all out. Oh. Nah, it's doing its job. Right, well, none of this helped. Where the hell is the key? Excuse me, bartender. Did you see a prick in here last night? I mean, other than your own. I guess he doubles as both the waiter and the bartender. Welcome to Los Perros Locos, where we're local for bueno food at bueno prices. My name is Cesar. What can I get you? You can get me a silver key. Do you have a lost and found? Depends. You lose something valuable? Someone I know did. A silver key. Probably dropped in here last night. Silver key? I don't think so. Do you mind if I look around? No que ser gringo. I could use a beer. Sure thing. That'll be five bucks. Oh, uh, I uh, forgot I don't have any money on me. Yeah? Because I forgot that the alcohol distributor accords bylaw 7 says that I don't have to serve beer to no broke ass deadbeats. No dinero, no cerveza, pendejo. Fair enough. Do you remember a back manager getting drunk here last night? Shrippy guy? Cheap suit? Dead weasel on his head? <laughs> Good description. That cabron didn't pay his tab. I see him again, you tell him. I don't even call the police. I'll turn him into carne asada. I'll be sure to pass that along. Right, so I guess that's why I just want to come back, because he didn't pay his tab. What's your special? Let me check. Hey, Rosa! What's the special today? Our special is the, uh, meat pudding. Okay, cool. Good to know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that information, but I'm just going to file it away in the, in the uh, massive amount of paperwork inside of my head and pull it out at some other time. She looks pretty angry. Hello. Mm hmm. Well, I think that went rather well. I would say so, yes. There's a horrible smell coming from the kitchen. Hey, keep out of the kitchen. Right. So, how in the hell do I find this key? I don't need to sit down right now. Hmm. I have the manager's tie. I don't see how that's going to help. Yeah, she doesn't seem like the tie-wearing type. Hmm. He's probably got his own ties. Better ties. Hmm. Let's go somewhere new. Let's go to Metro Toys and Games. Hi there. Oh, does that say XCOM? Fascinating. Robots. Toy helicopter. Looks very fancy. I should ask the store owner about it. It does look fancy. Looks kind of normal to me. But of course, toy helicopters are always cool. Maybe later. Dinosaur. Rawr. It's a shelf full of children's books and toys. I can't see up there. Yeah, I'll give this place a few months. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like they really have much of anything in here, frankly. In fact, it looks like they don't even really have proper shelving. It's like there's like a glass display case, a couple of small tables, and that's pretty much it. A bunch of stuff is still in boxes. Hey, would you mind not touching the unopened boxes? Yes, I would mind. It appears to be some unopened inventory. Welcome to Metro Toys and Games. We just opened a few days ago. Oh, I see. That would explain why your place looks like complete shit. I'm, I mean, sorry. Uh, how's it going? How's business? Eh, it's pretty slow at the moment, but we're new to this neighborhood. We'll be hiring part-time cashiers soon if you know anybody who's looking. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Not really. What are the popular toys selling this year? Hmm. The Robo Paladins are very popular. We've got a set on the table there. We get a lot of people asking about the Dino Diplomats on the shelf. They're often sold with the Dinosaur United Nations set. Oh, and everybody loves the Dusty Charlie helicopter. Go ahead and give it a whirl. Robo Paladins. Dino Diplomats. This stuff sounds much cooler than it looked. Tell me more about Robo Paladins. Well, they come from the planet Robotron. And they were sent to the Earth to protect us from global warming. <laughs> but some Robo Paladins believe that global warming is junk science. So they fight for the future of mankind. Topical. Tell me more about Dino Diplomats. They represent the interests of all the different species of dinosaurs. And they convene in this ancient arena. And talk out their problems. That sounds like the most boring thing ever. What could be more fun than an amicable resolution to a territorial dispute between cold-blooded reptiles? <laughs> so they fight to the death with vicious words. Tell me more about Dusty Charlie. Well, they say you're never too young to have a Vietnam flashback and the Dusty Charlie delivers. That helicopter over there has a built-in video camera and view screen in the controller. Mm? And the operating range is unbelievable. Mm. No, you literally won't believe it. Hmm. Mm. That sounds useful. I could use it to spy on people undressing. I mean, I could use it to help me in my quest to save the Earth. I mean, help me in my quest to be alive. I mean, help me in my quest to make the government believe I'm alive. So I can continue to live. Let's just talk about something else. So what are the best-selling games this year? Hmm. Well, for board games, we get a lot of people asking about Occam's Razor. We've got some trading cards, though they're not selling too well. And if you prefer video games, we got a few of those, too. Tell me more about Occam's Razor. Eh, it's pretty complicated, and the rules are really hard to follow. <laughs> Occam's Razor is complicated, huh? Okay. I get it. Yeah, good one. Tell me more about trading cards. We literally can't even give away our stock of Japanese protocol battle cards anymore. It used to be all the rage with middle schoolers. Now they just sit around and play Bunny Battle 2000. You got any of those Japanese protocol battle cards now? Sure do. Here, take a pack for free. Alright, let me unburden you. The hell am I gonna do with them, though? What video games do you have? We carry a large stock of affordable, independent little adventure games out there made by talented people. I once had a student mention Gemini Rue to me once. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, but if you want something a bit more modern, we do have a copy of Mess Effect somewhere around here. What's a Mess Effect? It's what happens when you start writing a video game story without any idea of how you're going to end it. And then when you finally do write the ending, it turns out to make no sense and be entirely disappointing. Yeah, I don't really play video games. Also very topical. A little bit too on the nose, though. Gotta dial it back a bit.
Well, I'd see if I can buy the helicopter, but I'm absolutely certain I can't afford it. Unless it costs 50 cents. Which, given that a newspaper costs two dollars, is pretty unlikely. It looks... Oh, wait, I don't even have to buy it? Click anywhere to fly the helicopter, click on the ground to land. Whoa! Neat. Cool. What are you freaking out about? It's only gonna shave off a little bit of your hair. You barely have any to start with. Who cares? Question is, can I actually do something useful with this? And the answer would appear to be no. At least, not inside of the shop. Wait, how do I put it down? It told me how to put it down, but I forgot. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Not particularly. Maybe later. Aw. Alright, so what about these cards? Protocol battle cards. I have no idea what to do with them. Okay, where do I go now? Need the key? I don't know how to get the key. Medical robot, don't know how to do that. Can I pick up this large box by any chance? It's a large box that can be used. These corporate fat cats, with their executive salaries and corporate near jets, are living on the backs of us common workers. <laughs> yeah. And the building stinks. There is a weird smell in the building, and we demand management be held accountable. Also, my some of my favorite shows have been canceled. The bastards. We demand that Firefly undeclared and arrest development be returned to cable television immediately. Because they were totally underrated and stuff. Yeah. Totally. And the bathrooms, what is up with the bathrooms? I am sick of that awful cardboard they call toilet paper. Who's with me? McRib. Corporate. M McRib, yes, the Mc something about the McRib. Embolden the crowd with the McRib. We demand a McRib sandwich, and we don't care where you have to go to get it. They will degrade us no longer. We must rise up and take control over our own destinies. Hang on. That seems a little extreme. No ifs, no buts, no postal service pension cuts. Feel our pride. Feel our power! We won't give them another hour! The people! United! Will never be defeated! That didn't even rhyme. No blood for oil! Oh god, not you again. Try again. I mean, uh, there you go. We're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore! So, uh, did my speech work? I don't think it worked. 
Can I take this box? Oh god, am I gonna give another sp- Oh no. Do I need to give a better speech? Parking spaces. The parking spaces in the back are set too close together. We can't all drive Honda Fits like you corporate fat cats. We're not going anywhere until they are repainted to fit an average size sedan. We break our backs working unreasonable 9 to 5 shifts. Workers should not have to spend a third of their lives as slaves to the corporate machine. We demand that shifts be reduced to three hours. <laughs> three hour shifts? Oh my god. He's totally right. Every email you send is one less letter for the mail service. We demand postage for email. <laughs> that is a terrible idea. We are sick of seeing other major corporations embrace teleworking while our work-life balance continues to be ignored. We postal workers also demand to work from home. How do you remotely deliver mail? Alright, before they said outrage was too extreme. Well, surrender and patience doesn't make much sense. Nor does submission. Compromise? If National Mail is prepared to negotiate in good faith, we can put a swift end to the strike and get back to work. Who the hell is this guy? Hmm. Okay, I don't think I'm doing this very well. Goodbye. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave now. Forget I was even here. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I can go to the airport where I know they're not going to give me a ticket because I don't have money or a visa. Which is kind of a problem. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Now I'm really stressed. Let's go to the coffee shop. It's a nice atmosphere. Sarah Parker. Where's the Jessica? Fascinating. Really? You think that garbage can is fascinating? I'm a strange man. I'm not going to root through every garbage can I see. That's Sarah Parker. I taught her English for the past two years. I've seen her around at the school, but I don't remember her name. Hi there, you teach at Pendleton High School, don't you? No. You don't teach grade 9 through 12 art? No. Because you look exactly like... Sir, your beard makes me uncomfortable and you need to get out of my personal space. Now! Smooth moves, David. Smooth moves. My my beard makes her uncomfortable? What kind of a monster hates a beard? Beards are sexy, yo. Hi, Mr. Paulson. Hello, Sarah. How are you enjoying your summer break? I'm having lots of fun. My boyfriend Sean and I are going backpacking across Europe. He's so worldly. Did somebody order an espresso Romano? See? Oh, that's your boyfriend? Passport. Wait, what am I going to say about passports? Can I have your passport, please? Do you have your passport? I have mine. But Sean's is still in the mail. Stupid postal strike. Hmm. So that's why I need to end the postal strike, right? 
guess what? I got accepted in Queen's University. Isn't that great? I'm very happy for you, Sarah. I eventually want to go to med school. Or maybe law school. Or film school. Or maybe I'll open a bakery. <laughs> I guess if all else fails, I can just be a teacher like you, Mr. Paulson. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, such a compliment. Such a compliment. Thank you, Sarah. What do you think of this place? I come here a lot. My boyfriend Sean works here. Is he the guy behind the counter? Yep. We're gonna go shopping after his shift ends. Let's go have a chat with him. I can't shake the dread that this coffee has been subtly enriched with the tears of beleaguered Guatemalan coffee pickers. Oh, it's all fair trade. Don't worry about it. Hi there. What can I get you? You can get me coffee. I'd like a small black coffee, please. Sure thing. One double ristretto venti non-fat organic frappuccino it is. That'll be five ninety nine. Whoa, 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 I don't want all of that. I just want coffee black in a cup. Read you loud and clear. One grande latte half brew with low-cal sweetener and extra foam coming up. 485, please. No. Coffee. Espresso? <laughs> no! I just want coffee. Plain black coffee, no whipped cream, no venti triple mocha enema, just coffee. In a cup. Let me get this straight. Oh boy. You want me to betray the years I spent at the Academy Baristeur in Paris, learning to craft elegant masterpieces of the caffeinista's art, and just, just, I don't even know, pour plain, unadorned coffee into a cup? You're sick. But under the beverage dispensation agreements of Out 6, I'm required by federal mandate to serve any customer who can pay. Here is your... coffee. That will be... 75 cents. I don't even have enough money. Oh. Seem to have that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. All oh, right, I can't walk outside. I need to use my hand. What the hell do I do? I could take the bus, but I'm pr it's probably just gonna stress me out. Um, I'm gonna go to the airport. I know I can't actually fly, but there might be something at the airport I could use. I mean, what the hell do I do with all of this? Let me take a look at my apps. Fly to obtain your birth certificate, obtain a certificate of life, steal the barista's passport from the post office, find silver key. Wait, can I just go inside of the post office? No, I need to end the strike, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's try the speech again. These corporate fat... No longer will we tolerate that rancid, underpants-filtered sludge they call coffee. We will only accept coffee brewed to the finest, the finest undergarments. 5,000 thread count. We have the right to listen to music at a reasonable volume. 
It hurts nobody and increases productivity. So why won't they let us? I'll tell you the answer. Corporate greed. Yeah, every, every, show your support, everybody. Thank you. I'm really into it. We tip our waiters. We tip our disc jockeys. We tip our barbers. But do we tip mailmen? No! We expect to see more 20s left for us in your mailboxes. Or you might suddenly find your magazine subscription goes missing! We demand that the dull bourgeois national mail logo be replaced with a symbol that reflects the importance of the workers! I'm not sure I'm really speaking to the crowd here. Submission. <laughs> this is totally not going to work. My friends, of course we have very real concerns, but we must make sure our demands are reasonable. We must approach management with a sense of more modest demands if they are going to take us seriously. Wait, is this guy even in the union? No ifs, no buts. Oh, not this again. No. We begin well Hmm. He's probably got his own ties. Better to... Let's try that again. Walk off, walk back These... on, there we go. Okay, what got their support? What was it? Parking spaces? No. There's work hours, right? There we go, okay. Work hours. Um, naps. It's outrageous. There we go. Okay. Okay. I should write this down because I'm gonna forget it. All right. So hours. Naps. And. Danger pay? I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of being bit by those dogs. We demand danger pay for working in hostile environments. Nope, that didn't work. Outrage. They won't agree. We must hang on. Let's see. Ah. Okay, so I've got two out of the four, I think. The so I tried that. Of Coffee quality. What have I not done? Employee lounge. We have given our. We deserve. Hell yes, we. Oh, there do. we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got three of the four. We work. We. De He's tough. It's a. Okay, so what is this one? Danger pay? No. Teleworking? I don't think so. Uh, McRib Corp. Is it drinking? We work hard for this company. So what's the harm in the midday pick-me-up? We should be allowed to drink at work whenever we want. Yeah. Okay, so I got them all. Now what? Does that mean now I can do outrage, or is it still not going to work? They won't do we Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Hang on, wait a second. We will light a spark that will start a revolution! Yeah! 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 Revel what? Show them how outraged you are! <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Let's burn this city to the ground! What? We have a 1034 in progress. Unpack the tear gas. Dear guest, you are disoriented, your eyes are water, your nose is running, and you can't help coughing heavily. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine.
Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean I can go to the medical bot now? Ooh, I bet it does. And can I go inside now? Are they... Have they just... Wait, they haven't dispersed? <laughs> they just got tear gassed and they're still here. And they just rioted. Committed crimes, tried to burn down the city, and got tear gassed and they're still here. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, stop coughing. You're fine. Sorry, don't have your shoes yet. Soon. sick. I need to see. Scanning. And complete. I enjoyed that. I bet you did. Processing. Watery eyes. Runny nose. Moderate coughing. Illness suspected. Please take the monitor and insert into orifice. <laughs> Which one? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Temperature reading required to finalize assessment. <laughs> okay, so... Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm thinking I need to use this thermometer in a cup of coffee to make it really, really hot so it looks like I have a horrible fever. That, or I need to shove it up my or somebody else's ass. One of the two. The thing is, I can't seem to use items on myself. How about you, man? His temperature is none of my business. I'll make it my business. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I need a cup of coffee. And for that, I need 75 cents. <laughs> oh, stop coughing. So can I just leave with a thermometer? Wait, can I not leave the room? Oh, there's a radiator here. Wait, is this seriously not gonna notice if I just put it up against the radiator? That would be a pretty good idea, except it's not cold enough for this radiator to be on. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. Here you go, all done. Thermometer received. Processing temperature. Patient condition nominal. Priority maintained. Your priority level low. <sighs> Maybe I do need coffee then. Or it needs to be cold outside. One of those seems easier to get than the other. Change the weather. Or get coffee. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, this coffee is going to drive me crazy. Let's de-stress at the park. Look at the fountain. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, am I not going to de-stress anymore? Ah, there's got to be a limit to how much you can de-stress here. I don't think there's any more change in there.
<laughs> okay, what if I go back to the strike, the people on strike, deliver the same speech but do something different at the end? <laughs> what would that do? No longer tear gassed. You start to feel a little better. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I might have to re tear gas myself. I'm not sure. Or maybe I just need to do the temperature part. Anyway, let's give this speech again. Remember me, guys! These corporate. What was it? Uh, lounge? We have. We Hell yeah. Working hours? We we Naps? And drinking, right? Yeah. We were. We I'm assuming that I have their attention now and they'll do anything I say. In which case, submission? My friends, of course, we have very real concerns. We must. Wait, is the. No ifs, no, no post. No, I didn't think so. Maybe there's nothing else I can do? These what if I try it again? Shit, what did I just do? I think I just messed up. God, I already messed up. Get me out of here. I regret this immediately. I'm just gonna leave now. So many places to go. Maybe I can make a new tweet. Nope. There. Yeah. Alright, well doing that's just gonna increase my stress. I still don't know what the hell it is. Silver key. I don't know what the hell to do with this stuff. What the hell do I do with any of this? What the hell? I'm going to the airport. Oh, bus. No, the speed is terrible. More intoxicated than average. Very noisy. Less conversations. Much less body odor. Cool. Oh my god. Noisy, crowded, and uncomfortable. I'm just gonna shoot myself, aren't I? Young adult. I probably shouldn't bother him right now. Wait a minute. Why does the guy on the ad look like me? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's me, isn't it? He's got the same hair color. What appears to be the same shirt, the same color of pants, the same color shirt. It, that's why am I in an ad? Huh. Weird. He looks a little bit like me. Yes. This movie poster is too big to carry. That's a nice shirt. It's you too. <laughs> that's a nice shirt. It's you too. Would you like a tie to go with that beautiful shirt? Apparently not. 
fascinating. I really don't think it is. <laughs> Canadian? Canadian? What the hell? Get insured, fool. I don't really have anything to say about it. I find myself questioning his value. He's taking forever with that ticket machine. Hello. If you're looking to purchase a ticket, please use the machine in front of me. You'll soon find yourself questioning my value. <laughs> Apparently I already have. Can you please hurry up over there? The machine is very complex. I am asking you to be patient. Okay, so why can't I use the two machines next to him? Are these non-functioning? Okay, fine. Ombudsman? I want to meet the airport ombudsman. No, little boy. I work in the air traffic control tower. But if your parents want, I can introduce you to one of the pilots. That's stupid. I want to meet the ombudsman. Ow, you wretched little... Billy, would you please stop kicking people? Use your words instead, hon. I want to meet the ombudsman! Do you think it'd be inappropriate if I smashed his face against the glass until I broke his nose? Little Billy. Hi, Billy. Well, I know what to do with my trading cards. I'm sure she's doing her best. Ill-tempered child. Holy crap, now this guy knows style. Look at that hat. Or hair? I'm not even sure if it's a hat or hair. It's cool either way, though. Nice. What's over here? Obey. <laughs> Obey. An advertisement for a phone or a tablet that just says Obey. I don't really have anything to say about it. Buy suits. Wow, they're, they've given up on even attempting to sell you their product. They just say outright buy it. Not like, look at how versatile it is. It's incredibly fast. Nope, just, just buy it. You're not the airport ombudsman. You look like a bum. I saw you pick up that, uh, trading card. Can I have it? Nuh-uh. It's mine now. Can I trade you something for it? What do you have? I don't know, actually. Would you like all of my cards? I've opened the package. Inside is some foil lining and some trading cards. Foil wrapping. Is there anything I can do with that at the moment? I 
It would also appear that I cannot combine items. Would you like some foil wrapping, Billy? He doesn't care about my trash. I care about my trash. And if I care, he should too, dick. I can give you these three Japanese protocol battle cards. Mm. Okay. Oh boy! This pack is Legislatron and the regular tricks! This is awesome! <laughs> Legislatron. Perfect. Security pass. Okay. Now where am I going to be using that? Security pass for what? For the airport? Welcome to Pearson International Airport. How can I help you? My luggage is missing. It wasn't in the arrival carousel. Okay, before I treat you like a human being, please fill out this form specifying the exact dimensions of your luggage to the closest centimeter. The number of pairs of socks you packed inside. And the 19th letter on your copy of the baggage tag. I don't have any of that information. Then I must invoke Act 4, Subsection C of the Airport Service Act, and demonstrate an appropriate level of disinterest in your problem, sir. What? That's hardly fair. How helpful. I guess that's what my security pass is for. He seems... frozen. Are you able to move, sir? It kind of looks like you're glued to the wall. I don't want to mess with this guy. Hi. 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 Wonderful conversing with you, sir. Plastic cutlery permits me to eat with dignity. If you count attempting to get your smushy plastic to cut something, then sure. I've picked up a plastic knife. Hi, welcome to Gorilla House. What can I get ya? Like a hamburger, please. Sure thing, that'll be $7.95. I don't have any money. Well, let me know when you get some, and I'll serve you the burger of your life. I know I don't have any money, but I'll take a different burger. Gorilla House? Never heard of it. We serve gourmet hamburgers and cheeseburgers here. I like to experiment with new recipes. A popular one is the Great Canadian. It's got bacon and maple syrup as toppings. That sounds like a donut. Goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. What should I throw out? Your face. Whoa. Stop right there, that's close enough. Do not approach me until called upon. Where are you going today, sir? Chikenistan. Chikenistan? You've just been randomly selected for further screening. <laughs> of course. The officer behind the scanner. You know, I think I'm just gonna leave instead. Goodbye. It's not going to be... Here's my ID. Sir, that picture doesn't look anything like you. Oh. Right. That. Um... Um... Can I cut the picture from my bus pass and put it on the secure... Hmm.
can I put on a tie and he'll be confused? He's probably got his own time. I don't. Hmm. And I can't seem to use items on other items. I don't think it's a good idea destroying this. Perhaps there's somewhere else I can find a likeness of myself. Oh, you can use items on other items. There's just no indication that it doesn't work. Good to know. Right, so I need a likeness of myself. Such as... The poster. That looked surprisingly like me. I'm not sure if a plastic knife is going to be sharp enough to cut it, though. But we're about to find out. God, I wish he moved faster. You can, you can double click, but it makes him go even slower. Faster. I've cut my likeness out of that poster. You're going to jail for that. I don't think I am. I really don't think I am. Unless you tell someone. I think I need to kill him. Stab him in the neck with a plastic knife. Damn it. Okay, do I just put it on? Do I need, like, glue? Um... Yeah, I think I'm missing something here. I can't use it on it or on anything else. Hmm. Now, I could attempt to go through the screening, but... What's the point? I don't even have a ticket. I don't think there's anything more I can do here. Yeah, so basically it seems like what I've done... It seems like what I've done is basically just start a bunch of different quests, but I don't know how to finish any of them. I need to fly the Chikanistan. Stan. Get my birth certificate. I need a certificate of life from the doctor. To do the doctor thing, I need something that can make the thermometer hot, which is probably a coffee. To get the coffee, I need more money, or I need to give the guy the passport. Maybe he'll give me the coffee for free. To get that, I need to get the protesters to go away, but I can't seem to. Maybe? I need to find the silver key. I don't know how. I can use my... Uh, my security pass to get somewhere in the airport to get something using this piece of paper that I have. This, uh, this scrap of paper to put over the security pass, but I need, I don't know, glue or something? Like, I've started a bunch of stuff, but I don't know how to carry it through. I'm not really sure what to do next. But, anyway, I will figure it out in the next episode. I'm gonna end this one here. So, so far, this game is... Uh, it's pretty good. It's not great. I mean, it certainly has some things about it that I don't like. Especially with the inventory and just how you interact with stuff, like it's really slow to move. Uh, there's no way to move fast, you can't double click to sprint, you can't even double click on an exit to automatically transition to it, you just have to wait. Not to mention how stuff is just takes so long to do and it's buried in so many menus. Like, what do I want to do? Click this, wait, click apps, click this, ah, that's it, return. Like, it's really cumbersome. 
and a bit frustrating. And it's made even more so by the fact that the, puzzle, the puzzles are a bit... They're not bad, but... I don't love them. So far, they're a little bit annoying. I'm not sure if that's because they're annoying themselves. If they're, you know, just annoying in and of themselves, or if it's because it's so kind of frustrating to just move around and use stuff. So there's some things about it I don't like, but it's also just pretty damn good. I mean, it's got really good art. I like the music. It's a fun little universe it's set in. I think it's a bit too... Obvious, some of the things are doing, but too on the nose, I guess is the right term. With like, hey, this is a parody of this. Like, sometimes it needs to be more subtle, I think. But it's pretty funny. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I don't, so far I don't love it, but I like it. It's a fun little game to play. I just need to figure out what the hell to do next, which. Might have to end up using a walkthrough for. We'll see. I think I'm almost at the point where I've hit a wall. I feel like I'm at the point where I need to do... Like, there's one thing that's just holding me back. Which, just like one little thing that I need to do and then everything else will fall into place. Which I feel might be money. That might be what I'm missing. Maybe I need to do the silver key next to get money. Actually, is that even going to give me money? It's going to give me a credit card. I guess I can use the credit card for anything? Maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.